This week, we take you to Tropicist Beach Hotel and Resort located in Crown Point. It's a cool two-minute walk to Fort Milford and is in close proximity to the A&R Robinson International Airport and a few of the best beaches on the island. Come with me as we explore what this property has to offer. I'm Davia Chambers and Let's Talk Tobago starts now. Recommissioning of the Hope Community Facility. Highlights on Junior Achievers Day and later, we take you to the Senior Citizens Activity Center. These stories and more when Let's Talk Tobago continues. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tropicist Beach Hotel and Resort. This is an ideal location with its acres of beautiful flower gardens, view of the beautiful blue Caribbean Sea, and the proximity to all the conveniences of the area. Our lead story has details on a community center that's once again going to be the center of attraction for events such as meetings, dancing, and workshops. Here are the details in this story. Tile floors, a refurbished kitchen, a new ceiling, a new stage, are just some of the new features at the refurbished Hope Community Facility. The facility was recommissioned recently by the Division of Community Development and Culture. The reality is that this is in fact a significant investment. And you know when I look around, I am tremendously heartened by, first of all, the quality of work. Of course, it looks pleasing to the eyes. The facility is a hub for community activities. It's hosted educational programs and outdoor events and entertainment. Having our young people idle on the streets, it's not something that we want to see, but it's something certainly that you can get involved with making sure that they can come into this space, learn some skills, learn a trade, and become more productive in their lives. Members of the community are pleased with the quality of the renovations. They're also happy to have the center up and running again. Of course, I'm very pleased with the recommissioned community center. I have no, you know, no quarrel with the colors used. I love the bright color outside and inside it's just mild and mellow. It has been a while since um, we have been asking for the repairs to be done. And in these um, tough economic times, we were really happy that they were able to find the resources to repair it. I mean, I'm satisfied with the outcome. Uh, it's it's uh, refurbished to the standard where we can feel comfortable to utilize the, the facility to the best of its ability. The upgrades to the community facility cost $900,000. It's an investment the Division of Community Development and Culture hopes will benefit residents for years to come. I'm Crystal George for Let's Talk Tobago. Tropicist was built in 1977 in two phases. The property has 54 rooms with all the modern amenities, including internet and cable TV. Now in our next story, Crystal George has details on 12 young men and women who have graduated and are willing to serve the island as seamen and seawomen. Here are the details in this report. 12 more Tobagonians are certified to work offshore or at the sea after completing basic seaman training. They learn basic survival skills, first aid, personal safety and basic firefighting. 
Their training also educated them on the importance of the marine environment. It's to promote safety of life, to protect property at sea, to protect the marine environment by establishing a common agreement of international standards for training. So it's standards for training, certification, and watch keeping. Fishing is a major industry for Tobago. Training courses like these will help strengthen the sector and create more opportunities for fishermen. This includes supporting and developing longline fishing and other downstream areas to enable fishermen to view their occupation as a viable business by expanding the commercial fishing sector. The Fish Processing Company of Tobago Limited, FIPCOT, met the course of the training facilitated at the Caribbean Fisheries Training and Development Institute in Chaguana, Trinidad. The company will provide more training opportunities for Tobagonians. Basic training will be an annual exercise and we are exploring the possibility of having the training executed in Tobago as for more persons suitable train and certify. We at the Fish Processing Company will like to make the dreams come true for our fellow Tobagonian, creating valuable employment through international recognized training and certification. In all, 10 men and two women graduated from the training course. Their certificates are internationally recognized. I'm Crystal George for Let's Talk Tobago. Visitors come to Tobago to relax, go to the beach, snorkel, see wildlife, and enjoy the tropical climate and the nature of the island. And Tropicus, the beach hotel and resort, offers just that with their accommodating service and packages. Boasting the theme, Together We Can Outsmart Cancer, this report has highlights from a workshop that educated participants about two deadly diseases. Caroline Wallace fills us in. Cancer and diabetes are two chronic diseases that are affecting the lives of Tobagonians. That's the reason the Bobel Cancer and Diabetes Foundation hosted a workshop under the theme, Together We Can Outsmart Cancer. The nonprofit organization wants Tobagonians to apply the well-known saying, prevention is better than cure to their lives. When somebody comes back and said, you know, because of what you told us at that workshop, I don't eat 25 cricks no more, I eat six. When they tell us we don't eat a, a whole avocado at one go, but we eat a slice. And when they tell us that I am checking my feet every day, those are very important. Those are very small wins to us. According to a report published by the Trinidad Express in October of this year, Cancer accounts for 13% of deaths in Trinidad and Tobago annually, while diabetes claims 14% of deaths. The Chief Secretary over London says we must ensure that we minimize the possibilities by gaining knowledge on the diseases and taking the appropriate action. How many of us are going to be prepared to make the relevant decision and to take appropriate action after today? Because you see, there is what you might call collateral damage and residual benefits. And let me explain what I mean. If you do the wrong thing, it's not only affect you with respect to cancer and diabetes. It's going to affect you with respect to your quality of life. And the Tobago House of Assembly is making certain that preventative services are provided to all residents. Tobago House of Assembly within the Division of Health and Social Services. One of the programs that we run is the Healthy Homes Program, which I sure, I'm sure a lot of people might have heard about. But this is a program that brings services closer to you within your communities and within your environment and allow you to actually access early screening, early screening that will help survival chances. The mission of the Boval Cancer and Diabetes Foundation is to enrich the lives of people living with cancer and diabetes by providing resources and education. I'm Caroline Wallace for Let's Talk Tobago. On the other side of the break, Junior Achievers Day. Don't move. Let's Talk Tobago will be right back. Stay with us. They say it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters the most. And in the face of disaster, chaos, and panic, 
It is the Tobago Emergency Management Agency's comprehensive emergency response plans that will matter most to Tobago. This agency's modernized approach to emergency management is driven by technology, powered by networking, focused on community resilience, open to partnering, enhanced through training, and led by a highly competent and dedicated staff. This has positioned them as one of the premier disaster management agencies in the region and earned them Trinidad and Tobago Diamond Standard Certification. Congrats, TEMA, Tobago Emergency Management Agency. The construction of this property was inspired by its breathtaking view of the Caribbean Sea, whose shoreline makes up the tropicist boundary. Now young men in Tobago are being guided to accomplish more and aspire to greatness in the Junior Achievers program. Let's have a look at their progress in this next story. This is Ashton Blanded, a former maximum security prisoner. Now he's a full-time entrepreneur, encouraging Tobago's male students to make the right choices in life. It was all a part of the Junior Achievers program hosted in Tobago in collaboration with the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport. Plenty of you saying that, you know, we would admit that we don't want to die young, we don't want to go to jail, but we are planting the wrong seeds. There's a relationship between the things that they do and what happen. And you need to be a madman or you have to be a madman to plant a corn seed and expect to reap grapes. The goal of the program is to teach students to make positive contributions to their communities. The students were reminded by a very special guest that they all have the potential to be great. In your journey to who you're going to become, you can travel so many different paths. Just know that at the end of the day, Everything, every experience you get, you have to ask yourself, what have I learned from this? The Form 3 students from across Tobago were urged not to put limitations on what they can achieve. Words from former Prime Minister Basio Pandey. You have to have, as has been said before me, a confidence in yourself. You have to have a dream of what you want to be. Some of us are lucky that we find that dream, that objective, that, that concept of which we want to be early in life. Some of us have it all wrong in the beginning. But important is that you must want to be something. The Junior Achievers Program is seeking to inspire the young men to be successful at a pivotal stage in their lives. I'm Crystal George for Let's Talk Tobago. Tropicist Beach Hotel reflects a modern vacation style and is located near the island's most popular beaches. Storbe is just a stroll away and Pigeon Point, a quick journey by car or bicycle. In our next story, the Financial Literacy Secretariat Unit hosted a workshop to teach participants about the three stages that help shape their economic development. Here's more in this report. Do you know the stages of personal economic development? This concept can change your life. Participants of the Financial Fitness Workshop series learned about three stages, foundation, production, and reaping. It's helping them narrow down their financial targets and goals for different stages of their lives. They're also learning basic skills they'll need to secure their own and their children's financial futures. So when I'm saying this foundation stage, what am I looking at? These persons or families will be, will have children that are living at home with their parents, 18 years and under. What type of financial planning should you be doing at this stage? And what should you focus on? Align yourself with the right partner. Develop your skill set or develop a skill set. Align yourself with like-minded friends. You should work. Some people end up working while they are studying, develop budgeting skills, and save. Once you've got that foundation, it's time to put those years of preparation to good use. If you're between 26 and 55, then you're in the production stage. These years are the years you will make the most amount of money. These years are the years that you are the most productive. What type of financial planning should you do at this stage? 
what should you focus on? You, again, create a budget because you are now at your production stage. Set reduction, debt reduction goals, set savings, savings goals, and develop a spending plan. A key part of this process is maintaining a budget. It gives you a clear picture of your spending. It also affects how much you can see for the future. Now, when you're thinking of budgeting, it is you knowing where you are right now and what you can do to improve your present situation. You need to know where your money is going, where it's coming from. The reaping stage is all about relaxation, but the financial planning doesn't stop there. Supplementing your income and reducing debt will ensure you can enjoy your retirement. Through this series, the Financial Literacy Secretariat is seeking to help more Tobagonians become financially independent. I'm Kundi Freitas for Let's Talk Tobago. Management at the Tropicist Hotel sure knows how to welcome their guests at the Sunset Grill and Bar. It simply invites you to be a part of the fun with events such as barbecue, Caribbean nights and weekly entertainment. Farmers, it's your time now. The Agricultural Society has launched a new initiative to make farming a whole lot easier for you. Omidara Mills has the details in this report. Have a look. The plowing service that you see behind me is just one kind of the full service options that's available through the tool rental program. Now that's an initiative started by the Tobago Agricultural Society in 2012 and it was revamped last year. People are very interested in um, having the full service um, because it's uh, basically a one-stop if you are a female farmer and um, you cannot handle the um, chainsaw or anything like that. We send the handyman or, and or one other person um, to assist with getting this done. More than 100 people have already rented tools or engaged the services of the Agricultural Society. One of those people is Josephine Clark Noel. She plants and sells a variety of crops, ranging from tomatoes to karaili. Mrs. Clark Noel appreciates that the service is done in a professional manner. I will use the service again because I get my things done in time. So if I get the service, when I ask for the food service, I rent the service and they come and they work for me, I get my place done in time that I would be able to plant in time and at least make a little profit. Farmers can rent brush cutters, pole pruners, mist blowers and chainsaws for as long as they need. The program was created to cater to uh, farmers who would um, like to reduce their waiting time for services such as the plowing services and uh, who would like to be more efficient in their production and maintaining um, whatever cycles they are working with. The Tobago Agricultural Society works closely with the Division of Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment to meet the needs of the farming community. And this tool rental initiative can go a long way in improving the island's food security. I'm Omodara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago. Coming up, we take you to the Senior Citizens Activity Centre. Don't go anywhere. Let's Talk Tobago will be right back.
thanks for staying with us. You're viewing Let's Talk Tobago. Now to keep guests occupied, the management here at Tropicist encourage guests to visit the spa tub and the sauna or even take a tour of the island. Now this, the seniors at the Senior Citizens Activity Centre in Bonacord are ready to show us what they are capable of as they hosted a public exhibition to display some very unique items. See what I mean in this next report. Senior citizens in Southwest Tobago are staying active. They're keeping busy through activities hosted by the Canaan Bonacourt Senior Activity Center. Recently, the center hosted its seventh Achievement Day function. It gave the participants a chance to show the public their craft work. They enjoy bonding with each other and learning new skills. You know, a lot of the elders are bored they're at home by themselves, so this is just an outlet to get some of that tension off, a place where they could come and, you know, have discussion with people their age and exchange ideas. As I said, we have people from all walks of life here, retirees. So, you know, they look forward to coming. The centre has 59 registered members. Once you're at least 60, you're welcome to join the group. Events like these are making all the difference to these seniors. Well, the centre is my life because I live alone and I look forward to the day when I would leave home. I, got, I get up, I do my chores and head for the centre. And, event, and we do exercises. We do the electric slide also, you know. And we, <laughs> we dance a lot, we do everything. We keep active by doing things and after when, maybe when everybody has gone home, we stay back, we play Scrabble, we play different games, you know. One centre staff member says the experience has made a big difference in the lives of the elderly. They can enjoy whatever activity they choose at their own pace. You look forward to getting up on mornings, once you could make it, and go to the centre. You do whatever you choose to do. If you feel to do a little handwork, you do that. And the thing about it, if you feel to talk or sleep, you do just that. The camaraderie and the togetherness keeps us together. Last year, the group held open house celebration at the Lowlands Community Center, where they exercised and danced. You can say they're having the time of their lives. I'm Marlon Gutzleben for Let's Talk Tobago. There are two pools in the pool area. This pool behind me features a swim-up bar or waterfall, children's pool and lounge area, while the other is used for diving lessons and water games. Now staying on the topic of fun, this next story has details on how this known institution commemorated International Games Day. Here's more in this report. It's not every day you get to play human-sized board games or try your hand at FIFA 17 at the Scarborough Library facility. Then again, International Games Day at your library isn't your typical day. Research shows that playing games has its advantages, even when it comes to academics. People benefit in terms of um, education um, because some games stimulate their cognitive abilities. Um, it provides um, rec recreational um, time, um, leisure time for them, um, as well as it brings people together, so it is a social um, uh, tool. The library is no longer just a space for homework and reading. It's more and more becoming an all-inclusive environment that fosters learning in many different forms and offers a variety of technology-based activities. Public libraries have recognized that with the, the evolution of technology that um, you have interest in the electronic gaming and they have opened the, their spaces for that kind of activity. Those who prefer the traditional tabletop games, such as Scrabble and Chess, had those options too. Then there were the games that got both the young and young at heart moving. Last year, we would have generated or stimulated interest from the um, patrons, and they were really excited. They have been asking for the games for quite some time, so they're happy that it, it's that time again. Um, we have new persons that weren't a part of it last year. They've called, they expressed their interest, especially in the FIFA 
17 and um, the Mortal Kombat, that's another game that they're interested in. So we've had um, the older patrons and also the newer ones um, expressing interest. International Games Day takes place on the third Saturday in November. The Charlotteville and Roxborough branch libraries also took part. I'm Amadara Mills for Let's Talk to Bego. It's Have Your Say Time and our question this week is, what is your healthiest meal? While you think about it, let's take a look at who had their say this week. My healthiest meal would be chow mein noodles, steamed veg, mashed potatoes, big fish, stew peas. Grilled potato, steamed fish or grilled fish with grilled tomatoes, some relish, it's a little vegetarian veggies inside. They always say eat breakfast like a king and queen, lunch and dinner like a pauper. At the end of the day, okay, so your healthiest breakfast is supposed to be a balance of protein, protein and probably a carbohydrates. Alright, so your protein could include eggs and bacon, probably with a oh, slice of bread. Provision consists of cassava, dashing, green bananas, you know, and salt fish steamed down with a little pak choy, baji bush, you know. I think that's a healthy meal. Mixed veg, all right, we have some cauliflower, some broccoli, some crystophene, and some carrots. That's how I make it. I like fruits that are grown locally, so palm city, pomerac, plums, those kind of things will be included in my healthy meal. As how on the road, my healthiest meal is really like some vegetables with some grilled fish, and maybe not too much starch, maybe one slice of provision or a little, not too much. But you know, always try to eat healthy and keep it healthy. Not too much of one type of thing, right? We close another edition of Let's Talk Tobago. And as always, we thank you for watching. Please email us with your comments or queries about the program. And be sure to visit our website, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. From our house to yours, I'm Davia Chambers, along with the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly, wishing you a safe and very productive week. We close now with a montage of the 7th Annual Tobago Beach Soccer Championship. We hope you enjoy. Ball back in the area. Chargers struggling to get it away. They have done so with a bit of a clatter. Oh. Right. Goodness. Well, we have everyone shouting. For his team. Western Chip Paparazzi, Rodriguez! There we go! I told you it was dangerous. Peter Rodriguez has got the Paparazzi and level begging against the Swiss Chargers for one all. But Hook still there. Sankeno. Yes, Sankeno. Lost it. Chargers go. Loren. Loren! Has got the Chargers. And all of our robbery, Juanillo! Oh, it's a complete thing. Come on, Mr. Hannah! Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Here's Gabriel! Oh, God! Oh, my God, go, go! Go, 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 the West End Ship Paparazzi of Venezuela. Let's give them a round of applause. Hey, hey, hey.